shining a bright red as always is I Red Luster and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And today we'll be doing the newly released Spooky's Dollhouse. Yep, back here once again. Oh, I got the axe. Uh, so you guys have probably been wondering where I've been for so long, because it's been a long time since an actual video has been made. And, uh, I guess I, I guess I should explain what's been going on. I've been having, uh, I've been having issues, uh, health-wise for around eight months now. When they first started, they weren't that bad, but they progressively changed to a point where I was kind of rendered unable to do pretty much anything, and I was in I was a decent amount of pain most of the time. I couldn't really bring myself to record, not only because my condition made it so I couldn't really uh, settle down and start recording, I just did not have the energy or motivation. And uh, I'm not technically better yet, I have gotten some medicine for it that's helping me considerably. But I still have to go to the doctors a few more times to finally get this resolved. But it's been a while. Some new Spookies content's been released. And I do have some medication that's helped me at least stay stable. So let's make a video. You know what? I might make this a super long one just because it's been that long without content. But, uh... I guess I won't blabber about it too long now, I should get back to it. Because I'm very excited to see what's new. It's been forever since I played Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. The air here is heavy with must and mold, your lungs seem to struggle with it. You're, you're, uh, uh. I'm sorry, did that say my ability to heal is inhibited? Also, why do I have a hand? The spooky ghost hand, if anything. Oh, I still have my axe. Which I must be swinging with my left hand. Even though the axe readies up to the right. I won't question it. Oh! Oh, okay. So the hand... The hand pops up when I can interact with something. Your spirit has been recorded. Oh, I guess that's a save. Well, aren't you a pretty looking doll? So I have no idea what this DLC is going to be like, so I am completely blind. I have no idea how what any of the puzzles are, what any of the new monsters are. I just no idea what's going on. Really just threw myself a map. Oh! Wow! Wow! Okay. Th this is interesting. Th this is... okay. This place is big. And complicated looking. It doesn't tell me where I am specifically, but it doesn't tell me what room I'm in, at least. Okay. Uh, oh. Congratulations, GL Lab Labs Associate. You have been volunteered for our proud parent program. You have been given a doll, and your duty is to train the soul entrapped within. To confine it to the doll, you must keep it in good spirits and give it attention. Many of the Beta candidates were children when they died and will likely attack themselves to uh, attach attach themselves to you without problems, but there may be times where punishment or extraction of spirit energy is necessary. The energy can feel quite replenishing, but please refrain from abuse as it negatively affects the ghost. In the event of husk rejection or injury, GL Labs is not responsible responsible under any circumstance. 
Okay. I'm not sure if that's important, but I'll try to remember it. Something about you, this doll draws you to it. Pick up the doll? No. Uh, I think I will refrain from picking up creepy dolls. I do not know what their purpose is yet. Northside Studies. And I think that's the actual time. I didn't check before I started recording. Okay. Uh, this, I guess, the trophy room. Bear. It's a very motley looking bear. Or is it a polar bear that's been partially frozen? I don't know, it doesn't look right. Also, I swear, if one of these deer heads start laughing, I'm just gonna start laughing with them. If you know that what that's a reference to, good on you. Okay, so let's check out this room. Excuse me? I don't like that noise. I was a good girl all day long, but when Dad got home, he was all wrong. So I hid in my room until he was gone. And then I shot him in the face at 545. His gun was so shiny, sparkly, and neat. And his face was so musky, gushy, squishy. I wanted to shoot more people, but my mom made me sleepy. Now I'm in this weird house with all these weird white coat people and they won't give me a gun. What is that sound? What's click clacking? Okay, so there's something weird going on in that room. Something clicking. I, uh, let's see the map. Okay, I guess the next room we'll check out is the clock room. I am a li I, I am a little more afraid than usual because it said my ability to heal was restricted. So I'm afraid that any damage I might take might be permanent. Also, yes, I recognize those are hands. It's dead silent in this room, and I'm not a fan of that. It's locked. I guess I'm gonna need those garden gardening shears later. I sure hope there's no scissor man. You know, from a clock tower. I I haven't played a scary game in a long time, if you couldn't tell. So I'm uh, a little on edge. Hi. That's a nice painting? Photo? Don't know which. Uh, whoa, this is a long hallway. I guess I'll check out the room to the... to, to here. Also, I hope you guys didn't hear that, but I couldn't help it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then good, it didn't pick up. We made progress, but none of it has been ideal. We developed a, si a system to summon and contain these spirits. However, we have yet to find a suitable container. When our director first summoned his daughter back from the dead, we were astonished. But she didn't stay here long. Without something proper to tether the spirits back to the earth, they simply fade away. We tried simple jars, vases, and like at first, but these containers limited the function of the spirits. We've had minor success using humanoid vessels, but the spirits are still tied to physical damage 
and the containers are thus too fragile. Okay, so you're you're binding spirits to dolls, which is always a great idea. Also, is there nothing else in here? And this desk is backwards. Why is this desk backwards? That that annoys me. That annoys me in a weird way. Alright, so this should be the piano room. Uh, those are very... I've never seen a crow head that big before. Sounds out to... Ooh! I see a shiny! West Wing Key. Uh, great, I didn't even know I needed a key. I feel like these things might have a puzzle, but that's just me guessing. Whoa! Ah! Back! Okay, I was not expecting randomly spawning demon children. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not regenerating health. This door is wrapped tightly in barbed wire. Try to open it. No. I think I need the shears for that. Or maybe the axe. Nope. Oh. Oh, I guess this door originally was locked. So they wanted me to go that way anyway, didn't they? Didn't they, huh? Didn't they, huh? Can I still... What's in there, anyway? I'm gonna use it anyway. Your spirit has been recorded. Okay, that did not give me health. So saving does not give you health. Well, uh... I can't get to the garden, so I guess I'm gonna have to go this way. Can I open this? There we go. Oh. That's quite a lovely looking room. There's a broken mirror, though, which is never nice. If there's ever a broken mirror, be very careful handling it, because the broken pieces can cut your skin very quickly and easily. Is that a baby with a cigarette? That, I guess, or, there's, that, that's a cigarette, right? That's weird. Uh... I guess I'll go and head to the left, check out that room, and try to... Or no, I'll go forward, then left. Okay. Hi there. I can't tell the effective range of this. I hear more, but I'll get... I'll... I'll, I'll I'll get to it when it's... Oh! Hey! You guys were just hiding in there for me, huh? You got some freaky looking eyes. Also, why are your dolls full of blood organs and stuff? That's kinda... It's kinda weird. But mostly in the doesn't make logical sense kinda way. There's also nothing in here. What a waste of time. Hello. I heard you. I gotta be very careful not to take any damage. Yeah, I thought I heard something behind me. Okay, so... 
These guys aren't too bad. They're they're kind of hard to kill, but it's mostly just being careful not to get hurt by them. We're having difficulty containing one of the stronger spirits. The dolls that we use to hold them keep stretching out and breaking, and then we have to summon the spirit all over again. Theoretically, the size of the vessel shouldn't matter, but he complains that it's all too small. So for now, it's locked up behind an emergency containment door. Sorry, I had to get a little swig. What am I drinking? I'm drinking cherry-flavored Kool-Aid. Uh... It feels nice to be able to drink it, though. I had to do a lot of blood work, so I had to drink regular water and nothing else. So, it's nice to have some sweet, sweet Kool-Aid. Tea room for the proud parent volunteers. Instruction manual. This room functions to release stress and replenish spent er energy in the event that the doll has lost potency. You may use this function by placing a doll upon the pedestal and staying across from it. In the event of husk rejection or injury, jail ops are not responsible. Good luck, proud parent. See, that implies I picked up the doll. Strange pedestal. Sit down. Nah. I... I don't want to pick that doll up. The fact that it gave me the option to and not just make me pick it up makes me think I shouldn't touch it. Great, a hole in the wall. Where am I? Okay, so... To the left here is storage. And then there's a blank room. And then there's down there. There's a hole in... I'm not gonna stick my hand into holes I don't know. Well, I don't like this room. What's this? I guess it's a bedroom and there's something hidden behind those curtains. Uh... I'll go check out storage first. Okay, so I get the feeling I need to place the doll down in order to get in. So I guess I should go back and get it. I want to investigate this room first. Needs access card. Guess I'll just go grab that doll. Because I don't see what else am I supposed to do. Uh, this should be it. Yeah, it's... Okay. Hello. Oh. So I shook the doll a few times and it gave me health. Uh, thank you? Okay. I guess I can't fight when I'm holding her. Oh. Uh. This is a bit of a problem. Ah. Uh. Yee. Ah. Uh. I just want to get to storage. Yes. You you take a chill pill right there. I don't fit in this. I can't stretch or else I break. They did this to me. I 
I already have a feeling you're gonna come to life. Oh! Whoa! Grab, 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 grab! Yeah! <laughs> oh boy! Yee doggy! Ah! Ooh. I do not like that thing! No, no, no! Yeah, why not? Ah! Ow! No! Stop! What am I doing? I'm panicking. Okay, so that hole in the wall is useless. You... Wait. Oh, so these rooms are all loaded at the same time. That thing is actually, like, this is an actual door. I just teleport to the other side of them, whatever, okay. So they're not, they're not just generated rooms. Hi. Just gonna take a moment to rest. Okay. Uh... So, uh... How's it going? You doing good? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not sure if I can fight that slug thing. It looked a little too big. Slug leech arm thing. I don't know what to call it. Oh, but I picked up a key. I didn't even realize I did. I guess it goes to the clock. Is this a clock room? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, there's nothing in that room. I'll just go back. Nope. Oh, hey. There you are. I was wondering where you were. Hello, Spooky. I'd forgotten about this place. So many tortured souls are here. Well, anyway... I'm gonna go check on something. See you later. Okay, thank you for that pointless interlude, Spooky. Alright. I don't know, I still don't like this one. Uh... Okay, so... I can't see because she's blocking part of it. Great. The clock room isn't too far. Maybe I should set the doll down for a bit. Here, you you go back to your little pressure plate. Yeah, I, I'm actually going to take you. Uh, what's in this room? Uh, just the note. Hi! Oh! <laughs> oh! That thing is way too fast and I don't like it. Oh! Uh... Oh.
Uh, uh, 5.45. So, uh... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I, I lost track. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. Okay, so it sh the long arm should be here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 45. Well, it was 545, right? Or was it 645? It was 645. Well, now that I got bolt cutters, I can get to the garden. So I'm gonna have to go past that thing. Ooh, I didn't mean to go right on top of you. Sorry, sir. Good night. Ew. Are these the leftovers of the dolls I killed earlier? Use the bolt cutters. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like it here? Oh. My dear Monica, though it's difficult, I respected your wishes and let you rest. I miss you every day. I miss you so much. I'm still going to tr try and save our daughter. I know it's not what you want, but I've already gone too far. She's so close. I just have to find a way to keep her here. I love you. I'm sorry. Uh, where am I? Okay, so this... The garden... Oh! This is a completely different room. So can I open this door? It's locked. I guess I gotta go this way then. Hello, ambience. Uh. Electric barrier. What electric barrier? Oh! That electric barrier. If I set you down here, okay, I'll leave you here for a bit. I can't defend myself without my axe. Why is there a room just labeled clown? I don't, it's just labeled clown. Like, yeah, this is the clown room. I mean, not even the clown room. It's just... Clown. Okay, I don't understand what those piles are. I hit them anyway. Uh, so there's two rooms here. I already really do not like this one. Okay, I thought that was the sound of the door locking behind me. Oh, hey, a note. A doll is a timeless thing. In the shape of a human, but created perfect. Immortal, un unmoving, yet hollowed, devoid of soul. A fitting symbol and possibly a, a usable device for our goals here. Soon I will have you back, my dear. But first I must make sure it won't constrict you. Okay. Uh... Nothing else in there.
I don't like you. Doll pieces? There are several broken doll parts in a pair of plastic cop hands. It appears to be holding something. They're slightly melted together. Pick it up. Why not? Some doll hands. I see you up there. You're lucky my axe can't reach you. So I got some hands. I mean, that's not really helpful, I guess, but... I guess I should check out... Let's get the clown room done and over with. I already know it's not going to be a good time. I already know the clown room's not going to be a good time, but... Better sooner than later, I guess. Yeah, let's check out this room first. Oh, you're not following me. Hello, baby. It's weird that there's a chair there. I haven't told anyone yet, but I think this place is haunted. There are like these strange moaning sounds all the time. Like a moan, but also like a woe. You know what I'm saying? So, woning. And there's also this painting that I kept staring at that I think was changing. Okay, stare at the baby. Are you going to change or what? Is it changing? Is it getting darker? Oh, yeah, I, I definitely think it's changing now. Very slowly. What's it changing into? I can't tell. It still just kind of looks like a baby. Should I be doing this? This might be a death. Is it just becoming more and more decrepit? I think it's just becoming more and more decrepit. It's a very interesting visual effect. It's very subtle. But I know this was a baby head originally. Oh. Yep. And if I look away and look back, you're just going to be normal again, aren't you? Nope, still changed. Just very slowly. Well, that's disgusting, and that was a huge waste of time. Alright, let's go to the clown room. I hate this. I, 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 oh! I hate you. D die. Forever. In whatever pose you- <laughs> Okay, that's a nice pose. Ha! Huh. Yeah, okay. To keep the dolls happy, we created this party rooms. We even summoned a spirit to entertain them, but this experiment has failed miserably. The dolls hate it here and seem totally freaked out by the clown. I requested a document on how it was found. Apparently, they tried to summon a happy human ghost, but instead got something else. It looks human, it acts human. But just be safe we installed a cage. What did they summon? 
Well, they summoned a monstrous clown. Which you probably should have just destroyed. What if I look over here? Will you turn it? No, you won't turn to face me. Okay. You're just... This is another pointless room. I'm glad it's pointless because it... And now he's giggling! He's just a happy clown. Okay, let's check out the furnace. I need the doll. Well, hey there. You're coming with me now. Please don't make me have to run and grab her again. Well, at least the, nothing can get in. Alright. Uh, here's the furnace. That was a stupid idea. Why'd I do that? Yeah, okay. Close it. Let rest for a bit. Okay, now we turn it off. Ah, ah, sparkly, sparkly. We got a key. Uh, let's close it. Now let's just leave it on. Why not? You know what? I feel like that's gonna bite me. I'll, just, I'll, I'll leave it as I found it. But now I got a key to something. I didn't see what. Uh. So what was the key for? I don't remember seeing anything locked. I guess I'll head back to the garden, then. Thank you for the health. Oh! Oh, hey! Uh, I was thinking you might want some help. So, I moved all those dolls out of the way. Thank you! Which dolls are you talking about? Spooky, you son of a... Oh! Okay, no, they, 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 they're... Okay, time, time to chop. Time to chop. Chop, chop, choppity, chop, chop. Is cool, I guess. I mean, it's better than dealing with immortal enemies that just won't die. I mean, the, the combat's a little finicky, but... It's all good. Alright, let's go. I'm guessing that I did need a key for something out here because that's why it was blocked. You're not covering your eyes this time. Which is weird. Alright, don't like this. I wonder how long this DLC is. Escape tram. I like the I, I like the sound of that. So uh Let's go this way.
All of our research and experimentation, we were looking in the wrong place. The dolls did little but distract us. They could not fill my heart and they were not suitable for you to inhabit. That is why you did not come back to me. But now I've found something else, a relic of the old kingdom era that seals spirits into the earth. Though it originally was used for great evil, I will use it for you. And that is where you screwed up. Just another Thursday. Also, Doug? A, mem a memory of Doug, GL's lab assistant. Congratulations, Doug. Uh, saying you deep earth. Look at for ghosts and old skeletons. Oh! Oh. Oh. Get- wait, what? Did that say get ready, victim? And I'm dead. Get ready, man. Also, I have a- I have a gun that does- oh, it does get rid of them. I'm sorry, uh, Doug. Uh, I can't get out of it. I guess I'm just stuck doing this now. Alright, I'm gonna try to crush you with this rock. Hey, it worked! But now it's an obstacle. Alright. I don't know why I'm doing this. I... Hey, I got him! Get ready, fleshy. Oh. Okay. Oh. What, hot boy, what? Can I get out of this? Okay. Okay, I don't know why I played that for that long. But I guess it was an interesting take of Dig Dug. So, uh, let's, uh, make sure... Okay, that's, that's Dig Dug room. That leads over there, so let's skip this hallway and go over here. Gotta check everything out. Live, laugh, love. Okay, that's a little creepy looking. We abandoned the doll idea of tethering the subject to a physical object. Instead, we sealed her spirit within the mansion itself. Her abilities within the facility should be incredible. The director would be pleased with the outcome of his sacrifice. Okay. It looks like there's a lot more written on that, but okay. Did her head move? It did move. Okay. And we're back to the ticking room. Express yourself. I don't like that noise. I don't know what it is. Hopefully now the dull project is over, I'll get transferred back to the surface facility soon. It's been very interesting, but I generally fear for my life every day. That's not ideal job security. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're feeling, fearing for your life every day would not mean you're very safe. Okay, so this room should be huge. And it is! So I guess we should try to get the, the escape tram. I need an access card. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Uh, 
All right, take a take a take a take take a five. Oh, I don't like this. No map of area. Great. The, there is even a hole where I fell from. Hello? Okay. Flashlight. Oh, it's a black candle. I don't have access to the doll, which means I can't heal? Oh, I don't like this at all. It's broken. It's broken. They're all broken. Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna get lost. It's dark. I don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, 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 I hate that. I hate that so much. I thought, I thought that was, uh, that was Lisa. Huh. That actually scared the breath out of me. Hi. A life science doll and silver hooks. There's a metal pinwheel piece glued to them. Tear it off. No. You can keep that. Oh. It's another black candle. I guess I'm going to have to take it from you. Don't mad don't be mad at me, please. Don't be mad at me. Which way was back? Oh, here it is, I think. No, it's not. Where am I? I? I. Where am I? Oh, I'm back. Okay. So I did find a way back. I think. Access card required. I... Guess I'll head this way? What? Where am I? I'm so lost. Oh, wait. Pinwheel. Well, I guess it's not the same shape. Hello? Excuse me, do you have a... Some sort of weird, strange sculpture. Oh! Okay, that was a jump scare. Oh, now I have a pinwheel. I, I guess. Now will you take it? No. I guess I gotta go in here? This room is darker. These spirits get so temperamental, we have to keep performing rituals to keep them in check. When you act out, it's necessary to inflict pressure on the husk inhabited by the spirit. Don't forget that these dolls are not real people. Apply pressure to their husk. Okay. 
Uh... Pinwheel? I got... Uh, it looks like I'm missing a piece of it, I guess. I have to go back. I guess go through here. And go through this door. Don't like this. I don't like that. A heavy metal plate over a narrow hole. Looks like you can slide shut. Move the plate. Cool. Oh, I got the whole pinwheel now. Uh, so I go back through this door. Now will you take my fantastic looking pinwheel? Nice. I don't like the dark. Oh, key card. A black candle. What's the black candles for? I can't interact with them. Now I need to find that door that needed a key card. Was it? I forgot where it was. Not good. Uh, I think it's back one room. Over... Over here? Here it is. Okay! Another atmospheric stairway. Stairway to hell. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, where... Oh! I need to be careful. Yeet! Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Well, I, I can get you guys. I got my axe. I wonder, can I even hurt that thing with the axe? Hey, can I hurt you? No, I, I don't, I don't think so. At least his attack range is really short. You know, all I can think of is her little run cycle having like a really frantic piano. That's all I can think of when I saw her running at me, just all of a sudden a piano going. Uh, but I'm glad that didn't kill me. I'm, uh, I guess I'm glad. Alright, I got a key card now. You're still ugly and I need to go get the doll. Uh Right, I need to head back to the garden room. Now uh, pardon me. Is there something behind the grave? Okay, just making sure. Okay. 
I guess I should go try and find the doll. Uh... Oh! Hi! You scared? No, you just don't want to give me health. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, this tray looks like it goes all the way back to certain- yep. Alright, when's the spooks gonna happen? I don't know why you're covering your eyes. I know that noise! No! Go away! Oh! Uh, hi, friend! You can only cry tomato tears. So, did I win? I don't think that was the true ending. Which, honestly, I should have expected. There's a lot of stuff I didn't get to mess with yet. Where am I? Okay, I need to head to the garden again. I mean, I'll be fair, I didn't actually think I was going to be able to escape anyway. Hey! Oh, don't cover your eyes. Actually, does that mean I have to take you to that tea room? I guess I should try, try that. See if she un uncovers her eyes. Uh. Oh. Okay. The tea room is back there, so I should go through here. Just go across, I think. No, I need to go back down to where the save room is. Alright. I should be through here. Uh, tea room should be around you. And you. Here we are. Okay, sit down for a bit. Okay, I'm recharging her. Alright. Give her all her energy back, I guess. With a nice cup of tea. Alright, there we go. Back to full. You feel better now? There you are. She's looking. Now we need to get around those guys and get back to where we're going. Excuse me. Pardon me. Okay. 
Let's save real quick. Good, good, good. Alright, back to the garden. Excuse me. Back through here. Okay, so let's not try to take the escape tram this time. I mean, I figured it was too good to be true, but... I had to try. Right, that's where I fell. I guess I can't even go that way. Hellgate Source and Spirit Seal. I guess I'll look at the Source. Oh, black... There's candles missing. Kira Genesis. Not enough ritual materials in room. Okay. Uh, pardon me one second. I, uh... I need to do something. Back now, I just something was bothering me, I had to go take care of it for a quick second. So I guess this door won't even open if I'm holding it. No, it will. But I, I need some candles. Which means I guess I can go back down to the darkness. That's weird, because I tried picking them up and the game just would not give them to me. Seal chamber. Oh, hey. I don't like it here. You should probably just leave. I'm sorry, Spooky, but I got stuff I needed. There's nothing for you here. Just leave. I... Uh... Okay. The seal is almost complete, and then you can return me. It requires a nightmare to work, so I will sunder mine. The same nightmare that took you from us will now bring you back. The seal can be turned off, but if I do this, I have to let the doll spirit go. There's no going back after this. And the nightmare? I guess... Oh... Oh! And goodbye. It was a nightmare. The night I saw the devil. Oh! Gun! Oh! Uh... I think I wasted like two shots. Okay. Okay, auto reloads. Where am I going? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Please perish. There's a lot of bottles. I guess someone had took up drinking when they were sad. I 
I guess I'll keep heading towards the enemies until it leads to me to a dead end. All right. Uh, there's not much to say. There's no music, no nothing. And I got a gun, which is cool. Never thought I'd be shooting things and... Someone is sleeping here. Plant the gun on them. I can't lose you. I will bring you back. I always wanted to tell you how that night really ended, but I couldn't because you were gone. I need your forgiveness, that's why I wanted you back at any cost. But in the end, I robbed you of both of life and unlife. Please go on and be with Monica. I'm sorry. Wow. The same nightmare that took you from us will now bring you back. Okay. Warning. The facility will collapse in 35 seconds. Oh boy! Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. Da, 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 da. Get out of my way back, boy! I hate you so much! I can't believe the nightmare that got him has come back for me too, stupid bag boy! Go, go, go baby, go, go baby, go! I can't do anything! I let all the spirits go. With the seal broken, the spirits trapped in the mansion can go free. However, the gates of hell was left open. A flood of terror spills outward. Horrors that were once contained within the mansion can now reach the surface. You escaped into a doomed world? Bad ending? You win. Oh. Wow.
Well, I can't just end it like that. Alright, so... I guess we need to go inspect the hell room. And then find a way- oh, we have to go back down the root cellar. Because we gotta go grab those candles. They wouldn't let me pick them up earlier. Alright. Might as well go for all the endings, since I already got two of them. So... Right, we need to go inspect the Hellgate room. And hopefully... That will give me access... That will give me access to grab the candles. Because my character will be like, Oh, I need to grab the things! Alright, yeah, this is the Hell Room. There's a candle missing, candle missing, candle missing. Alright. Doll Spirit Interference, place outside room. Kira and Genesis is just about fried. We summoned far too many spirits for the handle. Even returning them might collapse a gate, so I moved three ritual in the root cellar. We should deter for any summoning. Spooky will probably order someone to go get them, but that's not my problem. And odds are they won't survive down there anyway. Yeah, I need to go get those candles. We go get the candles, and then place her there, and then go inside. Alright, so the candles are in the root cellar, so I need to head all the way back to gravel. Yay, backtracking! Yes, yes, look at me, all you want. Alright, so we're back. This... Okay. Now we need to head back down. Let's save real quick. Good. Okay. Let's go through here. Alright. Now we need to just go all the way around down that small hallway. Excuse me, sir! Or a thing, whichever you prefer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. The doll doesn't look too happy. But we gotta get those candles. Okay, I get it. You don't like it down here, and I don't like it either. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, what? Eyeballs! Ah, uh, go away! Why is it all different now? Why is that open? I closed you! Okay, so you don't want to give me health here. Is the spirit here? Corner of my eye. Something breathing behind me. Only I thought maybe my devotion brought me here. Maybe blind me, blindness can get me out of it. Oh, you tore out your eyes. Great. Good for you, buddy. I guess I'll keep my eyes down so I don't look at her. I need to find the the candles! Okay, that's one candle. I need three. Ah, uh, wait, what? 
Ow! You jerk bag! Oh, okay, if I don't look at her, she doesn't come towards me. I, I think. That's why the doll's covering her eyes. What's this? There's just an eyeball there. I can't interact with it. Not looking. Not looking. I guess that's all of them here. I see you. Yeah. Okay, so just don't look at her. Oh, there she is. Candles. Not looking. Where are the candles? I don't remember. Oh, there's one here. Okay, I just need... I just need one more. There should be one more around here somewhere. I see you in a corner of my eye. I can't look at you directly, but I got peripheral vision. Okay. That's the way out. I need to go back through here. I hate you. Ah, ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Must have missed one over here, maybe. That's not it. Oh. Why is an eye keep appearing here? I only got two candles. I need to find a third one. Because I know there's three. need one more candle, but where is it? Where are you hiding the candles? Must have missed it somewhere. In here? Should be a candle around here somewhere. Uh, I'm sorry for taking so long, guys. I missed a candle somewhere. Oh, not here.
Where is it? I don't remember where it was. That's the frustrating thing. And this darkness doesn't help. Ow. Shake the doll, give me some health. It's not in here. Well, where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Or did I miss it in a prior room? Oh. Oh, maybe this way. Ow. There it is! All right. G -g go away, go, shoo. Wait. What? Where am I? Okay, good. I'm back here. Oh, hi. Excuse me. I got some dark rituals to perform. Yeah, I got some dark rituals to perform. I need, uh... I need to be... Alone. Alright, we got the three candles. Now we gotta head back to the garden. Oh, wrong way. Gotta head back to the garden, which is over here. Uh... Can I put the doll in the furnace? Uh, probably not. Uh, Great Hall. No, wait, wrong way. This way, this way. All right, we got the candles. I need to get. Oh, wrong room. My bad. Here it is. Now we get to the hell, hell gate thing. All right. Yep. Place a candle. Place a candle. Place a candle. Ooh, spooky. Any further spur that returns will result in system collapse. Oh! System unstable, do not return. Deer like, hostile, active. Active, hostile, 100% beef. Active, hostile, puppet. Uh, Spear is already active. Lead back to Hellgate Swords to return. Oh. Uh. What do you mean? I don't know what to do. I cannot see. I let go of me. I'm stuck. I got stuck, and I'm still stuck. 
I can't. I, I seriously cannot move. I can't trigger to death. And I can't pause. I, I can't. I can't move. I need to reset the game, don't I? I guess I gotta reset the game. I'm so sorry about this, folks. But I guess that's that's just what happens when you get a glitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is this re is this recording? Okay. So that was a weird glitch where we just got stuck. But at least we got the candle still, so we can just go right back and do it again. So we gotta go back to here. Again, sorry about this, folks, but like, I, I seriously got stuck. I was mashing the buttons to move, but the game just was not letting me move. Alright, set you here. Alright. Candle. 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 Alright. So... Activate this. Further spurt returns will result in system collapse. Spirits are right. lead back to Hellgate Source to return. What's the Hellgate Source? Your submission is I don't know what it means by that. Oh! Oh! Oh, I get it now. Okay. It's a blast to the past. I run because you belong here. No, thank you. Oh, great. My healing is still inhibited. I guess I should just try to run around them. Or... Just get to the finish? Excuse me, I still got hit. I would've taken damage trying to... Ow! Ah, dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it, I'm about to die. Please be it. No! How about you go away? Ah. Uh, this is a dead end! Ah! Uh, I'm alive! Oh, yeah, I didn't think so. Rest in peace, little guy. Okay, this is going to be difficult. And I have to go all the way back again. Great. I can't bring the doll with me. Okay. Let's try something else. Let's try the Meat Man. And we'll save every time we get one. Alright. Yeah, activate, activate, activate. Alright. Kira, yeah. 
System collapse. Meat man. Alright, active. Lead back to Hellgate source to return. Alright, here we go. Back at McDonald's. At least there's no deer here. Just beef. Just 100% beef. Uh, where's the door? Oh! Where's the door? Is it here? No, it's not here. Owie! Where's the door? Oh, here we are. Oh, that's right, he makes him disappear. That's not good. I don't know these hallways. They're all brand new. Fortunately, I didn't take too much damage. It doesn't hurt me very, very bad. But the deer one, the deer one was just an endurance test. There's no way around those deer. At least this one isn't too hard. The doors can only be in so many places after all. See? Alright. Window? Window? Window beef. Uh, how long do I have to do this? Hopefully not too many. Because this chase is getting a little, little long now. But I still like his uh, design. I just wish his uh, uh, concept was uh, a little more threatening, I guess. I mean, not being able to see where their doors are is kind of threatening, but it's like... The, 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 the way the tiles are set make it so obvious to where the door is that most of the time you don't even have to see... You don't have to see where the door is to know where it is already. But I guess if he didn't, his gimmick would be impossible. Because the doors could spawn anywhere. Then you'd, you'd have to run up and down the halls spamming to get in. Sorry, beef. Beef. So I guess this is this guy's like plane of existence. He just exists in this meat world. Where they do nothing but serve beef. This is a very long chase, and I, I I think I might have to do the other two as well. But hey, I mean it's classic spooky jump scare match and gameplay. Just run through hallways, get the doors, taste the beef. Oh, hello. I guess I'm going up. Oh, you can just float right through. Okay. Oh, great. A maze. Ow! Wait, no, this isn't fair! This isn't fair! Oh, you can't be... Whoa! Okay. Uh, touch it. Nope. I guess I gotta touch it. Uh. Oh. What? No, 
don't tell me I actually died. Please tell me this is part of it. Please tell me this is part of it. Please tell me this is part of it. I died. Ah, that chase was so long. And he killed me at the end despite being sucked into that thing. I don't know how he hit me. Here we go again. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to cut it. You get to experience all this with me. I've been gone for so long, I might as well make a really long video. Uh, this door. Set the doll down. Yeah, I know. Okay. Let's go. 100% beef run. Here we go. Speed run? No, I, I, I don't do speed runs. I do beef runs. They're extremely more difficult. Because they include 100% beef. There it is. Sometimes you just gotta feel around for the door. It's a good thing that hand pops up now. It makes it a lot easier to tell where the door is. Full health. Still got full health. Beef. Beef, beef, beef. I like me some good old beef. Beef, chicken. Beef and chicken are pretty good. I wouldn't really say pork is that great. But, you know what? Pork is good. But if I had to choose chicken, beef, or pork, I'd probably go with chicken. And then beef, and then pork. I'll definitely, I'll happily eat all three, or any of the three, but if I had a choice, that would be my preference in order. I guess it depends on the kind of beef, though. If it's really good beef, then maybe I'll prefer it over the chicken. But if it's like fried chicken, then that, that, that makes it pretty difficult picking between them. I am not looking forward to the maze part. That one I... Where is the door? Door! Where's the door? Where... Where is the door? Down here? There it is. That's annoying. But that's okay, I only took a little bit of damage. But I'm gonna have to take damage when I get into the tube. Or maybe it's random. Maybe it won't appear. I hope it's not random, but I also hope that is. Beef. Don't be a dead end, please. Why? Is this it? 
I've lost so much health because I keep going the wrong way. And I can't get my health back either. Man, this is brutal. I mean, I guess the game does get considerably harder if you can't heal your health back. But that also makes it frustrating because it means I can't get my health back. Which means any more mistakes or force damage, I just have to tank. This seriously goes on for like forever. Where are you? Nope! Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to survive the tubes. But seriously, this takes forever. Yeah, here we are, here we are, here we are. Floaty, floaty. Oh! I can dispel him by hitting him. Oh, he restarts at the back. Alright, uh, come at me. Okay, left. Okay. Uh, door. Uh... I hate dying to the meat man because his death is so slow. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Time for a hug. Time for a hug. A big ol' hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You died. Uh, I will say this is dampening my experience uh, considerably. This is not fun. But I am I already commit I already committed to doing all three endings, so I'm gonna do it. Hopefully this is the only other ending. I'm gonna pause for a second. Right, there we go. Uh, place the candles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Come here, beef man. So hitting him will, will set him back. Good to know. Good to know. Then again, with how finicky the hitbox for the axes is already. Not a fan. Just gonna say that now, not a fan. He's also kind of fast. I don't remember him being this fast. Then again, the gameplay was really simple. All I had to do was run to the end. You're here. Okay. I think I understand that tile now. Because these are random, but their their solution is all the same. Door? Not door. Not door. 
Where door, there door. Hold the door. Hold the ketchup. Hold the mayo. Hold the cheese. Hold the bun. Hold the pickles. Hold the onion. Why hold all that? Because it's 100% beef. No seasoning, no nothing. Just 100% beef. Beef. It's weird, because whenever he gets you, there's like symbols of pigs. Not, 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 not cows. Or I think it looked like a pig. Then again, they flash on screen so fast they're hard to see. Oh, there you are. Door? No door. Hey, I got him without taking damage. Door? The door is here. There we are. I mean, like a street hallway like this, where else would the door be? Excuse me, beef. Please be door. Good. But, uh, yeah, if the, if the creator of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion ever goes looking around at, to see what the criticism of the DL DLC is, my criticism is. This part is way too long. Like, I get... I get the gameplay of Spookies has always been really repetitive, but... This just takes way too long. Okay. It has slightly more reach than I think it does. Alright. There you are. Go away. Door? Door. Here we are. Okay. Uh. Uh. Cool. It, it's broken. So we only had to do one? What? Hey, part of that note's clipping. Okay. So I... I got rid of the meat demon. It's, it's broken. Okay, I guess that's it. We just had to do one of them. Uh... I should go save. Yeah, I should definitely go save. I don't want to lose all this progress. Alright. 
now, now that we did the, the demon thing, it should be sealed. Or at least closed or something, I don't know. We should get the good ending now. We just gotta do what we did last time. Go seal. Seal the doll. Uh, yeah, I just gotta keep going forward. Hey, Spooky. I don't like it here. You should probably just leave. There's nothing for you here. Just leave. Go away. All right, here we go again. Now we get to go through this traumatizing thing again. It was a nightmare. The night I saw the devil. Little little did he he say that devil was his daughter and he shot her. He shot her because she was red. And so was his enemies. Uh... I just need to keep progressing. And then I'll go around corner and shoot her by accident. So, these must be manifestations of his PTSD, because they're wearing army outfits, or they got the army caps on. So maybe these things aren't real, but like a metaphor? And this is why he, he accidentally shoots her, because he thought he was facing the enemy. Yep. That is really sad. Which is... kind of interesting considering how much of a more comedic stance Spooky Jump Scare Mansion tries to take. Well, it's not scaring you, obviously. Yeah. And then he goes to blame it on some random homeless person. Alright, here we go. Get out of my way, bag boy. I hate you still. The countdown makes me think of Metroid. You know, whenever the, the thing blows up, you gotta get to the shuttle before it, you know, explodes with the timer. It's cool. Alright. Kaboom. Uh oh. They're not as spooky looking this time. They just look like spirits.
With the seal broken, the spirit shots of the mansion can now go on. With the hell gate shut, the terrorists have seen their fade away. Spooky moved on. The rest of our parents now. Somehow, despite all the horror within the mansion, you brought peace to it all. Good ending! Hell yeah! Oh. That was good. That was good. Oh, look at all the artwork. Their nurse outfit. All right, so that was Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, The Dollhouse. Now, what do I think of it? It was really good. I, I like the the new the, the new systems, the the new monsters. They were all really interesting looking. The uh, the basement monster was especially scary because I don't know the way she moved was really freaky. The leech monster, the, the doll with the leech-like body, it was interesting looking, but it wasn't that threatening. The regular dolls were not that threatening either. They were just kind of annoying to take out because they had so much health. The regeneration mechanic being replaced with the doll was interesting, but I did get a little confused to why it kept covering its eyes. It turns out whenever it does that, it's out of healing. And you have to go recharge that at a specific place. Luckily, I only had to do that once, but... I can imagine if someone were to get lost or hurt more easily, they'd probably get frustrated going back all the way back there just to get all the healing back. But, uh... Aside from that, and the... The chases you have to do at the end. The chases at the end there just took way too long. They're way, way too long. They bog down a lot of uh, the play experience, especially if you die, like I did a couple of times. It made it just so much more longer than it needed to be. But I did like the endings. I like the what? I like how if you try to leave early, the the red guy gets you. And, uh, the, the bad ending, because it, it was obvious what you had to do, but it was confusing to why you couldn't pick up the candles beforehand. I don't see why you couldn't do that, but, uh, yeah, it was a really great DLC. I, I recommend it. I recommend you, uh, purchase it, uh, for the regular game. Because the HD renovation, it gives you the DLC for free. But I definitely think that this the, this creator should be supported. So I, I recommend either buying a DLC or getting the HD edition. But, uh... Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I already forgot my outro, so, uh... Oh, right. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and if you're not subscribed already, please do so. I know I haven't been uploading much lately, but I'm trying to get better, alright? Anyway, uh, be sure to leave a comment in the description what you thought what your favorite part was, or, or if you're gonna get and try it yourself, but uh, that's gonna be it for this video. This is Red Luster. Signing out.